My guests today say they want the truth, and they've come here to find it. Please meet Sierra. She says she may be young, but she's not dumb. She knows her man has been cheating. Sierra, what's going on? I'm here today to find out if my fiancé, Ty, has been cheating on me. Ooh. He's... Why do you think he has? Every time he gets a phone call, he walks into another room, and when I answer the phone, they hang up, and uh, yeah. so I called this number back on a, on a private number, and... I, they answer, and it's a girl, and she says hello. I said, what are you doing calling Ty's phone? Oh, 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 and then she hangs up. Mm. So I find a picture of this girl on Ty's phone. Oh, yep. I ask him about it, and he just says, you know, it's nothing. Uh, you know, somebody must have sent it to my phone on accident. Yeah. And I'm not dumb, and I need you to find out. You can't be on the show if you are. <laughs> well, Except on weekdays. <laughs> no, go ahead. I need to find out if he's cheating on me so I can move on or find something else. Okay. But you hope he's not because you, you do love yeah, him. Yeah, I need him. Yeah, okay. Uh, you think you need him. But you should make the decision. But you don't need him. You, you base the decision on whether you really want to be with him. Okay? You're young. You're a lovely young lady. You're going to find a guy whether it's him or not. So don't, don't feel tough. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, so his name's Ty, okay? Let's bring out Ty. Stop crying. Sierra, Go I ahead, met this, spit it out. I met this girl last week at the bar, and, mm -hmm. and she wanted me to look at her car to see if I could fix it. I went to look at her car. She invited me back to her motel, and we had sex. Okay, so that's not that's not odd at all that she wants you to come fix her car inside her motel room. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you about to park your car in her garage? That's what you about. I don't want to be with her. Ty, how could you do this to me? We've been together for three years. I have your son. I lost my virginity to you when I was 15 years old and got Ooh. pregnant. Why would you do this to me? I worked so hard to try to please you and, and you know, support our family. Why? I want to have fun with my friends. And so I do I. So do I, but that goes out the window when you have a baby. I work it. <laughs> You need to go out the window. I make money. Why are you always asking me for money? When you, you make money? money, Ty? Every day. What job you have? I don't need a job to make money. Oh, there are a lot of people that want to figure that one out. Uh, <laughs> so you have side hobbies? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. J. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you feel a little bit bad about what you do? You have a child with her. Don't you feel some sense of responsibility, though? No, Jay. I mean, I love my son, but I think I want to be single. I don't want to be with Sierra no more. I mean, she just complains all the time about her appearance and, and, and how she looks. Do something about it. Grow up. <laughs> You're about to be 21, Ty. I'm 18. Why do you walk around crying all the time? Because I have no life. You ruined everything. I ruined everything? Yeah, you did. Well, then go do something. You free? I have a child to take care of, and I take care of my responsibilities. I take care of my responsibilities. I take care of my responsibilities. If she wasn't willing to take care of the child, would you raise the child alone? Yes, no. Jed. Yes. No, because I wouldn't let him. Well, I, I understand that, but I'm saying you're putting all the responsibility on her. And she's young, too. Ask her who takes care of when she's at work. Who bought him all the clothes that he got earlier this year? 
who just went out and bought him seven hundred dollars okay. worth of clothes and shoes. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on a second. Who do you live with? You bought you bought all Carson's clothes with my income tax money. Yeah, who that you... sounds about right. This other woman is that who Gina is? Yes, dear. Do you know Gina? All right, let's meet Gina. You met him at a bar? Yeah, we met at a bar. We had a couple drinks. Um, I was having car troubles. I was with a girlfriend. We were on a road trip. And he told me he was a mechanic, actually. He said he, uh, he could fix my car. So we had a couple drinks. He was with his friends. He was like, OK, well, let's just go to your car, see what's wrong with it, whatever. Pulled a couple slick moves. I was like, OK, well, we have a deal. Let's just do whatever. Let's have some fun. You know, I'm out having a good time. I'm broke down. I'm not going anywhere. I was like, as long as I can get my car fixed, he's like, OK. So we hooked up. And then um, he said he was going to go get his tools, because he was a mechanic, and um, come back the next day and help me fix my car. You never did? Never called. Never answered the phone. I kept blowing his phone up. I kept texting him, sending pictures. I was like, where are you? Are you coming? Um, I'm out here on stuck, like you left me. I can't go anywhere. Ain't nobody coming to fix your car. Don't nobody want to be with you? Well, you did. <laughs> I got what I wanted, and I'm gone. Yeah, and I didn't get what um, I needed, and but joke's on you, because I'm a tranny. Full of not knowing anything, that right? Means she well, was let's born just say that I have mama's feature and daddy's yeah. equipment. And, and Since you didn't have the equipment to fix. That ain't what you said that night. Why the hell couldn't you tell me that? How do you not know when you have sex with another man? <laughs> All right, well, obviously, there's no relationship going here. Not at all. Couldn't even yeah. buy a couple drinks. Nobody gonna spend no money on you? <laughs> but catch you. Okay, but... I know, everybody to get their taxes all at once. <laughs> all right, but here's where the real relationship is, and, you know, you're the father of... At some point, you told her you loved her. Yeah, you one, just, you can't point, just walk away from responsibilities, can At you? one point, I did love her, Jerry, and I don't want to walk away from my little boy. Oh, okay. But Sierra's got to grow up. I can't deal <laughs> with her childish ways and the way she acts. Okay, but see, the thing about it is, he just proposed to me on Christmas. Oh. And that means nothing. You see a ring? I don't. Oh. Do you see... Oh. Well, in... Do you want to still be with him? I don't know if I can be with a man that sleeps with other men. I don't know. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.